I think they've got to keep going at Brisbane's left hand side. I, 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 Reynolds is rushing hard on Cleary when every time he comes out towards his left. Mam and Capewell look a little vulnerable. Leota playing it there as Cogger looks in, comes out to Cleary, out the back for Crichton, up against Staggs, Stephen Crichton! He scores! What a comeback by the Panthers! That's energy, lad. Proper energy. <laughs> well, if you thought for a moment that this championship side was just going to roll over and let the Broncos take the Premiership trophy across the border, not a chance. Cleary again getting his hands on the ball. Crichton, the Dally M centre of the year, out on this left-hand side. Great work from Cogger straightening the attack. Cleary gets to Reynolds, gets deep into the line. Now it becomes a battle. Yeah, I'm showing his definition of big game player. Um, just would always come up with unbelievable plays and just a, just a freak, but he, he works hard for that too, so um, yeah, we'll definitely miss him, but glad to look back on these memories that we've created with him. Huge kick here. Good kick. Ahead. Three in from touch. Cleary, the ice man. Mm, so I remember thinking <laughs> at this stage running back and I looked up at the clock. Because um, I kind of said before I wasn't really looking at the scoreboard or clock too much. I looked up and it was like 10 minutes to go and we're only down by four and it, it kind of shocked me to be honest. But I just thought like we had all the momentum and there was still so much time to go so um, yeah I was actually feeling pretty confident at that stage. There's Cogger, finds Len Yu. Great tackle. The right man for this point in the game is Spencer Len Yu with the carries that he can produce. Yo for Cleary at the back. Edwards, Garner, room for the Panthers. Garner takes it down within 10. They've got one play remaining. Toto feeds it for Cogger. He wants Cleary. He'll chip it. Not a great one again. A touch by the Broncos. Comes back. Cleary, Cogger, still the last. Crichton, what does he do? He grubbers. Stags won't bring it back. They trap him. It's another goal line dropout. It's probably only uh, just <laughs> I'm thinking about running out of time, I suppose. You know, we're inside five minutes. But um, after the, after the previous try, when Nat kicked it from the sideline, I thought I felt really good about our chances. Um, so I was still yeah, pretty hopeful, actually. Um, obviously, repeat set in possession and. We definitely had had the better of the game, obviously. Um, this was a big play, like <laughs> just come up with so many big plays at the, you know, in this whole part of the game where if we, if we didn't get one of them, we might have, you know, that might have been the end of the momentum for us. But we just kept, we just kept. They weren't. Well, they didn't seem like big plays, but in the context of, of it all, they were. So I was feeling. I don't know, it was a bit like a dream at the moment, like, it was just weird, because just like, it was all happening so fast. You know, we'd gone from just, you know, that, all the boys were saying, you know, 24-8 uh, down and everyone's shattered and, you know, thinking of, about all this other stuff. And, and uh, you know, 10 minutes later, well, here we are. Like, this is what's going on, so it's a bit of a roller coaster here. It's Kenny, back to Edwards. Tries to fend away from Walsh. He does. Still going. Flegler and Carrigan under pressure. Quick play the ball. Fisher Harris chopped down by Walters. Another quick one. Sorensen here. Ricky fills a gap. Four tackles gone. Meters out. Short side. Cleary takes on Reynolds. Cleary! Cleary scores! The Iceman cometh! But Cleary scores the try that locks up the grand final. Well, just when you thought Brisbane were going to snatch it, Ezra Man went one on that tremendous run. Through. I was pretty happy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that was good. <laughs> that was a good feeling. No, it was just, it was, yeah, it was a really big play, obviously. I mean, and just naive one of the ball for a lot, for the back end of that game, like you mentioned before. He, he really went after it and come up with some really big plays for us and none bigger than that one.
I think a lot of us in this team are, are big believers in everything happens for a reason. Um, you know, with them scoring three tries and then just that, the way that the boys flip the switch sort of thing and then this guy just takes the game by the scruff of the neck and does his thing, left foot, left foot, sort of that, you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro, just True. seen, like, had the, had the perfect angle of just the, the whole opening up from him and him just taking it, it was crazy, man. Yeah, that was, was, was a feeling to remember. Yeah, everyone's going wild in the box, actually. Um, even Demis. Was... <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I was, and yeah, like it was an, obviously an incredible moment. Just, it was sort of like, I, I was the same as Romy, had the right behind where the, the gap just opened up. And so it was, um, it was like a whole range of emotions all at once. Um, but it quickly turned for me to like, you know, okay, we're in front, we will be, how long to go? There's still, you know, there's time on the clock, there's a few minutes, uh, they'll kick short. So I was kicking, all, I was thinking all that stuff. I was already into the short kickoff, which we, throughout the year, didn't really defend that well. Um, and as I said, like the Broncos look so dangerous every time they had the ball. So that's what I was starting to, I was already thinking about um, after this. So it was more just afterwards where I was thinking more about, you know, the play and what happened and all that. Like right now, I'm just thinking about sending messages down. I think I made another sub. Um, just trying to get our best defensive team that I possibly could out on the field. Uh, that's all we needed, you know. So, yeah, so it's all about what's next, um, as opposed to sort of revelling in the moment, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's pretty crazy. I remember uh, I, won the play, I won the ball on the play before. Um, I just thought we had the numbers on that one, and then the next play I probably shouldn't have got it because they actually numbered up an extra guy. But I don't know, I just... I just felt like I was um, sort of in that perfect sort of flow zone where I wasn't really thinking about too much about what was going on. I was just sort of playing and, um, yeah, it wasn't until I actually put the ball down, I was like, wow, we're actually going to be in front. So, um, but yeah, it's like, business said before, it sort of felt like a movie and it honestly does. Like, even watching it back now, it still doesn't feel like that actually happened. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm pretty glad it did. <laughs> <laughs> and from right in front, Nathan Cleary gives the Panthers the lead. Oh, if I missed that, I would have quit footy and moved. <laughs> the Panthers are close to doing what no team has done for 40 long years at this level of the game. Kenny for Smith. What a game. What an absolute epic this has been. They were the two standout teams through the minor premiership. They've given us a grand final to remember. I, I, I'm stunned. The, the comeback and the character of this Pedra side. Wait, wait. And the genius of Cleary. Cleary's kick. The back end of the set goes down to Arthurs, and the Broncos have less than 60 seconds to go 80 metres. Farnworth charging. Maybe he's he living up on the sideline. But... All of us, bro. Yeah. yeah. Pretty much on the field. What do they go to? Reynolds wanted it there. Carrigan looked to him. He held on to it. Walters to Reynolds. Here is Walsh. He takes them on. Looking for an offload. He gives it to Sorensen. <laughs> I love watching that, eh? Makes me not happy. Walsh took a chance. Penrith have the ball. 15 seconds left. Three straight premierships. Unbelievable. We are witnessing greatness. Kenny waits, almost the entire Penrith team surrounding Mitch Kenny. They want the siren to sound. They've stepped into the history books. Three straight titles for the Penrith Panthers. They are one of the greatest teams we've ever seen.
What an incredible comeback. Down 24 points to eight. Ezra Mann scored a hat trick in the space of 10 minutes. And the Broncos were running to the Probe and Summons trophy at that stage. But Cleary somehow finds a way without Jerome Luai on the field to strike the partnership with Jack Cogger. They score three straight tries themselves to break the hearts of Adam Reynolds and the Brisbane Broncos. Penrith at full time have taken down Brisbane 26 to 24. The Panthers, they are still just getting started and that's ominous for the rest of the NRL. It didn't feel real for me that night. I don't know, like it took a while, hey? Like, just that, um, when you just see it again like that, it's like, it's just an, un, like, you know, fortunate enough to have won, won three, but like that, that feeling was like even better than maybe the other, or maybe it's not better, but it's different. Because it was just so unlikely. Like, if you think, just think about what had happened in the last 20 minutes. Um, that was just, yeah, it was amazing. It was interesting that the boys are saying it was like a movie. It was, it was like that. Um, but I know, you know, I feel like that we've just worked so hard for so long and been so consistent that, you know, you know, we just got, you know, it was our night, you know, like things not went our way, but you know, some some days of diamonds, and that was a, that was just a roller coaster of a game. It's such a good game. Broncos were so good. Um, and just the storyline of it was just so, yeah, something to, you could never, you just couldn't write that. So it's pretty cool to be part of. One cool thing that we've done as a group is we've always tried to give um, our time and stuff to the fans because we know how much they mean to us and how much they care. And uh, it's a real footy town, you know, I think a lot of the time the mood of the town is based on sometimes how we're going. And uh, to see them so happy, some fans in tears, like it does, yeah, it does sort of hit home for you and, and means a lot. And even the next day we had the, went to the stadium and there was just so many people there all in the field. So uh, it was pretty special and um, yeah, glad we could share it with them.